Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my kitchen and another episode of Painter's Palette. Today we're going to talk about the famous painter Winslow Homer. Um, he's one of my absolute favorites and very well known for his oil paintings, but he also created a lot of watercolor paintings. And um, Homer is important to American art in the sense that he helped elevate watercolors to a higher level. Um, usually artists use watercolors for kind of like sketch work, quick, easy work. Um, the plans they make before the big oil painting, but his mastery of watercolor actually helped, you know, create the sense that a watercolor painting could actually be the finished painting, the final work, uh, a masterpiece all on its own. Um, and so since we're looking at him today, uh, I'm going to create or decided to bake um, sugar cookies that then get decorated um, in a watercolor fashion. So, you know, it's cr almost Christmas. Everyone's making those sugar cookies with the frosting on them. So we're gonna make sugar cookies with a royal icing and then we're gonna use gel food coloring to watercolor paint on our cookies. Um, so real simple recipe for you today. I'm not going to tell you how to make your sugar cookies. You can use any recipe you want. Um, you can cut them out. They can be circular round cookies. You can go to the store and buy some sugar cookies <laughs> and then just make your icing. Um, real simple uh, project today. And so let's get started. Winslow Homer was born in 1836 in Boston, Massachusetts. He was the middle child of three boys and his mother, Henrietta, was a watercolorist. So this is probably where he got his start in art. He continued to be an artist his entire life, believing that it was his greatest passion, but also a business for him. Winslow did not paint just for the sake of painting, he painted it as an actual business. Homer did most of his watercolors on working vacations to Canada and the Caribbean. He also spent a lot of time in New York, northern New York, like on the Anirondack or the Hudson River. So we will see this reflected in his works. He made watercolors a truly wonderful and serious artwork. Most people use watercolors as the sketch and then would work on the larger oils afterwards. This is probably his greatest contribution to the visual arts in the United States. Winslow Homer died in 1910, having completed over 700 watercolors in his lifetime. This does not even include the large oil paintings he created. He never married and considered art to be his main goal. He even lived on what people called his art island in Prout's Neck, Maine for many, many years. He was sometimes considered a recluse, but he was happy and productive. And his favorite, one of his favorite quotes was, look at nature, work independently, and solve your own problems. So I already made my sugar cookies last night. I baked a bunch. And so I've got my brown ones here that I'm going to use for demonstration purposes today. Just a regular sugar cookie. And then I even have um, a plate here of gluten-free ones. Those are for my son. Um, and then there's some more extras over there. But you can, again, any sugar cookie you want for this recipe. And I have a baking tray out with some parchment paper on it because that is what we're going to decorate our cookies on. I use the parchment paper not because it's necessary, but it's easier for cleanup in the end. So uh, we'll get to that. 
But our next step is to create the icing. There are many different recipes for royal icing out there, but I'm going to make a very simple one. And all it takes is some powdered sugar or confectioner sugar. And then this is meringue powder. And you can get that. It's often available at supermarkets. I couldn't find it at Woodman's this time. Um, but you can also get it at like the specialty craft stores or baking stores. So like Michael's, Joanne Fabric, places like that where there's fancy cake making stuff, they'll usually have meringue powder. And then I have some water that I've left sitting out so that it's room temperature. Um, I have about 10 tablespoons of water. It's hard to know exactly how much water you'll need. It depends on the consistency of the icing that you want. So you're kind of adding a little bit at a time and you're going to see how it turns out for you. If you feel like you don't have enough icing or the icing is not smooth enough, you'll add more water. So the amount varies in that case. But I went ahead and I put my four cups of powdered sugar sifted in into the bowl. And there's also, I added the three tablespoons of the meringue powder. And it's hard to see the difference, of course, right now. But they're in there. And now I'm going to use my hand mixer with the whisk-like um, beaters there to beat it up nice and smooth. Um, not for too long, but long enough that it's well blended with the water and we get a good consistent frosting. So here's what my royal icing looks like now. Nice and smooth, ready to flood the cookies with. Um, and again, anything with meringue powder in it is going to stiffen up over time. Um, and that's what royal icing does. So we want to get this on the cookies, laid out nice and flat so we have a nice smooth surface to do our watercolor painting on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that now um, before the frosting gets too stiff. Okay, so now I'm ready to frost my cookies with the initial layer of royal icing. And I've put some of mine in a Ziploc baggie here. You can use a pastry bag, you know, or if you're a professional decorator, of course, you probably have some of those. But it's really easy, you know, it's kind of messy, but get it in there. And then I'm going to use my scissors and just snip a little bit of the corner off. That way I can take the icing and just fill in my cookie um, and then we'll let that harden and once it's hardened we can move on to the painting part so I'm gonna go ahead and do that So there are the cookies laid out, and you can see that the royal icing is starting to run off of them. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you have some parchment paper, some kind down, because they're, they are going to drip while they dry. Um, so my recipe says it takes about two hours for the icing to harden. So we will let them sit out and see how they harden up, and then we'll get to the fun part of the watercolor painting. This is one of Homer's first watercolors, Three Boys on the Shore, and it is a theme that he will come back to time and again. He is very well known for his beach scenes. I like the bright reds that are used in this watercolor painting. It is also 
often speculated that this woman may have been someone of romantic interest to Winslow Holmes, but again, he never married. This is another fantastic watercolor by Homer. I love the use of all the different greens, and it really feels like you're out there. He often painted in a method known as plain air, which means outdoors. And when he would finish watercolor, he would say, this will do the business, meaning he could actually make some money. I really like this one as well, the Adirondack Guide. It really gives a sense of space and being on the water. Homer was also well known for any of his logging watercolors. He did many more as well of the Caribbean, which he then turned into oil paintings, so I'm not discussing those here. Homer's last watercolor that he ever painted is called the Diamond Shoal. It was in 1905. Now, he did not pass away until 1910, and he was still a productive artist. He even had an oil painting on his easel not finished, but he never did watercolors after this one. All right, so it has been about three hours, and the icing's almost completely solid. If I had more time, we would let it dry until it's completely firm. Probably overnight would be best. Um, but we're going to go ahead and make our watercolor paints, our edible paint. And it's gel food coloring. And I've got these little cups here with a little bit of water in each of them. And then I have clean brand new paint brushes so that we can paint. Um, the extra water is for rinsing out our brushes. So I'm just going to put a drop or two in each color. Each little bowl here so that we have one of each color for our watercolor paintings. A little goes a long way. It's no different than dyeing Easter eggs, I guess. But these are going to be our paints. Teddy here is going to uh, uh, demo for us how to paint with watercolor food coloring. Hi! <laughs> Just get a little bit on there. And you just gently brush it on. So this is a fun way to decorate cookies. Um, don't spread it too much, Ted, or the, you lose the color. The more you add, the better. Then we just rinse our brush between colors. And uh, you don't want to use too much paint or you end up with soggy cookies. But it's a fun way to uh, decorate some Christmas cookies. So we hope you enjoyed learning about Winslow Homer today and doing some watercolor cookies with us. Um, Teddy's going to do the final taste test, see how it is. And let us know what he thinks of the royal icing and watercolor paint on the cookies. How is it, Ted? It's amazing. Okay. So we hope you all have a very awesome and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And have fun making your own sugar cookies. Then we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.